Hello, welcome to the 2013 MOC 60-day study plan. My name is Derek Moore. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon in Massachusetts and the founder of OrthoBullets. So just a quick overview of OrthoBullets. It's an online re learning resource that was created by orthopedic surgeons. And it was really created to be a more efficient way to learn the massive amounts of information that you need to uh, perform and pass these large standardized exams. Our philosophy is that passing these standardized exams is a very different skill set than you learn during residency and a different skill set than is required to be a good surgeon. So we just wanted to come up with a system so you could efficiently gain those skills so you can pass these exams and then, uh, you know, go on and spend your time doing more important things like taking care of patients. So headquarters for the MOC study plan is going to be the MOC study private group. To get there, you want to click groups on the top and hit my groups on the left, and you'll see the list on the bottom. I have a lot of groups, so I'm just going to search for it. By searching for it, then you scroll down in the bottom and you'll see the group here. So it says OrthoBullets MOC 60-day study plan. You just want to click on this, and this is going to take you into uh, the private group. The private group does have some instructions, and it provides links to all the different uh, spine, all the different specialty exams, all the different webinars, and it also provides links to the mock exams. In addition, every day at the bottom, there is going to be a posting of the reading list with links directly to the topics. Truth is, you do not need to see the topics here because more importantly, the topics are going to be sent to you in a daily email. So just on a high level, just going back and uh, looking at the structure of the uh, MOC 60-day study plan, the curriculum was really built around three major uh, components. There's daily emails that you're going to have that are going to be sent to you every day. And, you know, the thought here is that performing on one of these large standardized exams, half the battle is coming up with a big study plan, and the second half of the battle is actually getting yourself to do it. So we thought we could make those two tasks easier by coming up with the study plan for you. So we've selected the 300 most essential review topics. We, we have a pretty good sense of what appears on these standardized exams. So we created the 300 most essential topics that you need to review, and we're going to send them to you in a daily email. So you don't have to think about what you're going to study and when. We're just going to provide it for you, and hopefully you can get yourself to click you know, through those topics on that daily email to get through this large amount of content. The second component is uh, nine specialty exams and that are followed by nine specialty webinars that really review the exam. These are exams and webinars that were created in collaboration with Mark Miller. Uh, we worked together on this, and these webinars proved to be very effective and very popular, so we're using them again as a part of this curriculum. The third component of the curriculum is the mock exams. Now, for people who have been in practice for a while, sitting down and taking a standardized, computerized exam, it can be a very foreign concept, it can be very intimidating. So we're going to have you go through lots of questions, taking them on the computer. So when you actually sit down on that computerized exam, you know, you're going to be very familiar with that format and it's not going to distract you in any way. So this is what the schedule looks like. As I said, every day you're going to have a daily email sent to you in your message inbox. And then the curriculum begins uh, on the on excuse me February 11th and goes to April 11th. So you basically have nine weeks. And we broke down the, the webinars based on specialties. So the first week is sports. It's actually sports shoulder and elbow. Then you go trauma, spine, path, hand, foot and ankle, peds, and recon, and then basic science. So while you have a daily email with five topics to read, at the end of each week, you want to have completed the specialty exam, and there's links to go there. And after you take the specialty exam, you want to watch the webinar that reviews the exam and reviews the most pertinent high-yield uh, information re re related to that specialty. So now that we've talked about these daily emails, I want to show you what it actually looks like. So you have all been added to the email list. And, uh, you know, every day, uh, probably around 7 a.m., you're going to receive an email that looks like this. It's going to appear in your message inbox. This is just my Yahoo account. And you're going to see it. It's going to say, 
it won't say test, it would say MOC 60 day study plan and it will list the day. So just click on that and it will bring you into the topic and it will list what day it is, day one, day two, day three, and it's going to list the exact five topics that you need to read. And what you want to do is you just want to go through these topics, you click on the topic, and this is going to bring you to Excuse me, my internet seems to... We'll bring you directly to the topics. Now, our topics are meant to be used like flashcards. So you should be able to get through these fairly quickly. Uh, one thing that's important to notice in the top right, it tells you how many times this topic has been tested. So you can see that this topic has been tested two times, so it hasn't been tested very frequently. So you just want to read through these topics. One thing you notice is you know, we have a lot of images that pop up. We have an image browser, so you can zoom in on these images. But more importantly, you'll see the question icons. Now, our philosophy is, you know, what we call the vector learning technique, so visually enhanced quick question topic repetition. So whenever you see something, posterior and proximal to insertion of popliteus, and you see a question mark, you know that's important. And that should raise a, you know, raise an alert. And then you want to do this question, so you just click on the question, try to answer it, and look at the answers. Now, at the bottom, we usually provide a fairly comprehensive explanation as well as abstracts uh, that you can read. But the truth is, for this curriculum, you're having five topics a day. So you should be doing these topics in five to 10 minutes. So you be, should be spending less than an hour a day. Hopefully, you can do a topic in the morning before a case, a topic between patients, and kind of get through it each day. And that's why it's very important that you go through these topics very quickly, read the questions very quickly. It's going to feel like you're just kind of breezing through it, but that's really how this curriculum is designed to, to be. So again, when you go back to your email, then you do your next topic. It tells you how many times it's been tested in the past. Read through the topic. A lot of you guys you know, know this stuff by heart already. Uh, when you see the question icons, try to answer the questions read the explanation quickly, and get through it. Again, you should be going through all these topics in about you know five to 10 minutes each. Uh, there are a lot of video links. These are really designed for residents and surgical skills. Uh, so you know whether you want to watch those is, is really up to you, but it's really not an important part of this curriculum. At the bottom of each topic, you can see all the questions. See, there's the same questions that popped up when you click the question icons in the topic. And if you want to, uh, we do show all the references at the bottom. So again, there's going to be five topics a day. It's very important that you get through these topics on a daily basis. If you put off one day or two days, suddenly you have 30 topics to read, and that's going to be unmanageable. So it's very important that you get through the topics each day. Again, if you only have 10 minutes, uh, it was a long day, you only have 10 minutes, just fly through them quickly. It's really about seeing this stuff over and over again. We have listed an optional reference. These are references that have frequently appeared on the OIT. They're what we call commonly tested articles. Uh, if you do have time, you can click on the link. It will show you the abstract. It's helpful just to breeze through the abstract and be familiar with these articles. The second part of this email is uh, links to the specialty exam and the specialty webinar that you want to do each week. So the first week, again, this is the, uh, the spine week. So here, if you click this, this is going to take you directly to the test. Now, I'm going to show you what it's like when you actually take these exams. So when you click here, first thing you have to do is register. And then after you register, it's going to bring you to a start test mode. Now, as soon as you start the test, it's going to take you through the specialty exam. You're going to have uh, 75 minutes to answer 50 questions. Once you begin the test, you can't pause, you can't stop, you can't walk away. So whenever you take these tests, make sure you have at least an hour to blast through these tests. You can probably take most of them in about 45 minutes, but you have to have uninterrupted time. So all you do is hit Start Test and start answering these questions. You can see the clock starts ticking. It will actually say 75 minutes and you just answer the questions and go to the next. Now, you know, as you can see, you're not seeing the answers here, 
But the idea here is to build those test taking skills. You know, you got to refresh your memory on what it's like to take a computerized exam, and you got to get through these questions quickly. Uh, you know, based on the, the length of the MOC, which is about four hours, and the number of questions, you know, you want to be doing each question in less than a minute and a half, preferably around one minute. So when you finish the exam, you can review and submit. This is going to show you a, a page where it shows you how many answers you've selected. And at this stage, you can still go back and change your answers. This is a good way to identify if you've missed any questions. Uh, and once you're happy with the results, you go ahead and hit sub submit. And this is going to give you your results. After you hit submit, you cannot change your answers. Um, and that's that. So after you take the exam each week, uh, you want to go ahead and watch the webinar. You just click here. This will take you directly to the webinar. Just hit play. And it will go through it. Again, the webinars are designed to review the curves on the test in young patients. And then go through high yield topics related to that question. So all the questions that you took on that test, you're going to see again on this webinar. And the idea here is that you know, getting these questions right, it's not so much what you know is important, but it's also being able to, you know, take these tests, know which answers are incorrect. And that's why we did these webinars by walking through these exams and really giving you a, a better idea of, you know, what they're looking for in these questions and how to get them correct. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, you know, you're going to get daily emails that look like this. Stay on track, try to do all the topics, go through them quickly, even if you have to you know, go through them in you know, three, four, five minutes, just get through them. Uh, at the end of each week, by Saturday, you want to do the specialty exam. That's important to sit down and have a block of time where it's uninterrupted at least an hour. And after you do the exam, watch the webinars. The webinars about are two hours each. I do want to say the first webinar, the sports webinar, there's a mismatch between the voice and the visual, so the quality isn't as good as all the other webinars, and we apologize for that in advance. Again, you know, the home group is going to be your group. You get there, just click groups on the top, then my groups on the left. And if you scroll down, you'll see the MOC. I have a lot of groups, so I just do a search and uh, MOC, and it will appear. So you always have to log into Orthobullets. Let me just log in once more real quick. And as I said, all these daily emails that you're getting, if you lose your emails, don't worry about it, because they are also going to be posted as a long thread of day one, day two, and you will be able to see all the links here. So if you, you know, lose an email from five days ago and you want to go back, there will be a history of all of them. And also within this group, you will have links to all the different exams. So if you want to take this trauma exam, you can take it from here, hit start test. I've already taken that test, so it will let me, but it will let you. And you can also take all the webinars from this group here as well. All right, so that's it. If you guys have any questions, send me an email. I'm actually going to put my cell phone in the group so you guys can give me a call if you have any questions or any issues. And uh, you know, this is the first time we're doing the MOC, so we're really eager to get your feedback so we can prove it in the future. Overall, I do think that the major complaint is that this course is going to feel maybe a little too intensive, uh, too, too time consuming, but I really do think that, you know, our goal isn't just to get you to pass the MOC, but it's really to get all this knowledge, you know, up to date and, you know, be hopefully be a, a great, valuable learning experience for everybody. Okay, thank you. Enjoy.